What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase and on today's episode we're going to check out the prototype pickups from Heathen Pickups. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Heathen Pickups is the sister company to Deviant Guitars. So Royce has sent me a set of his prototypes and I put them into my beautiful Deviant Grimoire. I thought it was fitting that we check them out in this. And so let's go ahead and start off with the specs. Now, anything I talk about in this is not official, only because these are prototypes. I don't know the name of the set yet, so we're just going to refer to them as the prototypes. I'm going to pull my multimeter out. We're going to see kind of where these are sitting uh, on the output. So let's see. We are on, we'll start with the neck pickup. All right, my neck pickup, it is showing at 7.93. So that's kind of in a low put output range. Uh, kind of think of like your PAF style pickups. Let me make sure I have the volume knobs all the way up here too, huh? Let's see if I can get these things back on the... Yeah, so everything's 7.8, 7.9. Sometimes it'll read in at... Yeah, see like right now it's reading in at... 7.9, 7.9. I wonder if I can prop this up. You guys see that here? Let's try this. Uh, there's a glare. Uh, close enough. All right, there you go. So, all right, so we are reading at 7.9899. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the bridge. And we're sitting at 13.29. So that gives us you, well, let's split it. All right, so in the middle with the neck and the bridge, uh, so 4.98, 4.99. So we'll just call it 5K, uh, which is kind of common to see. So again, the bridge output is gonna be sitting at 13.29, 13.28. Back to the neck pickup. And 799, 798. So that gives you an idea of where the pickups are sitting at, um, which is kind of good. I, I like pickups in that range. That's kind of that medium output pickup range. They're not terribly low output. And the neck pickup is considered a low output, I believe. Um, PAFs, for example, are in that uh, 7 to 8K range. That's considered low output. Um, anything about 9, 10 to about 15 is kind of that medium output range, and anything above 15 is high output. At least in my experience, I go through a boatload of pickups. I'm not saying I'm an expert by any means, but kind of gives me an idea of where the, the, the ranges are. So... We've got our Nico 5 Magnets. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, I don't know the name of the set, but our Nico 5's medium output. We're gonna run this into the Mesa single rectifier and we're gonna boost the front end with a Fortin modded TS9. Uh, so that's kind of what we're just gonna do. I think what I'll do is we'll do standard E tuning. We'll change it to a half step down. So E flat, D sharp. Uh, and then we will do drop C. Uh, those are the three tuning ranges that I stay in. 99% uh, of the time, I'm at a half step down. All right, so that's kind of where I sit. Uh, we'll just do some basic riffs. Uh, I'll in between uh, each take, we'll adjust the tuning and I'll notate it on the screen, uh, you know, for an E standard or whatever. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. And then I think we'll only do dirty channel for this video, just to kind of give a quick, you know, introduction to these. Uh, so I'm going to be play testing these for quite some time and I'll do, I'll do another video. We'll do a cleans only or we'll do a clean crunch and a dirty, you know, just kind of a little bit later on. But uh, so anyways, let's get into it. We'll be right back.
There you have it. That is only the bridge pickup. All right, and that's all I wanted to focus on in this video. We're gonna do another one where we really run down and check out cleans and the dirty channels, and we'll go between the neck and the bridge. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, but that just kind of gives you an idea of the different ranges of tone that you can get from at least the bridge pickup. And that was an E standard, a half step down, and a whole step down. All right, so that's just kind of the realm that I play in. And that gives you an idea. We'll do some more in-depth stuff a little bit later, like I said. So uh, stick around. We'll see you guys in the next one.